Uh, okay, let's uh, let's implement selection sort into an array of objects. So, I will, I, I, this is the code from a video I created about selection sort. I will just delete this function here. Don't use it. I will use the function we add to the array prototype. So here I have an array of objects. So I want to sort them by the value, the the val property inside each object. I was testing here. So, okay, how to do this? So, if you watch the previous video, this is an implementation of selection sort. And here we find the lowest index inside this if statement. So, since this is an object, the compare value won't behave like we want. We want, we want to distract, we want to f compare them by the val. But uh, since each object is different from other objects, we need this ability to define the property we want to compare. This uh, this is uh, left off by the this is uh, left off to the decide by the user who will uh, use this function. So I think um, I'm not sure if it's the best way, but I think a good way is to pass a callback function. And here uh, I will I will give the user the, these values that he he or she wants to compare, and they need to return the the value from the property so how to use this so dot selection sort and you need to pass a callback function so each time for example this is an element in the array uh, and return el dot value so now z will be a sorted array if I maybe this so I, I think, if, let me just uh, delete some of them, like this, just now you can see that it's sorted, uh, you can even make it shorter, remove the brackets, you can even make it shorter, distract the var, return it, and even here you can make everything short, since uh, it's one line for everything. You can remove the curly brackets. The curly brackets. I know it's not a good uh, practice, but yeah. So, yeah, each time you pass a f you pass a callback function, which will distract this value. I I I am passing the object itself for each time. I'm passing this object to you. Your callback function will return this value, and the next object for it is this. So you you are also distracting. You are also returning the value for it. So I will. First time I will compare one with thirty-two. One will represent the first element. Thirty-two will represent the first element. That's why how this this that's why how this that's why this is works. Okay. Uh, yeah. I think that's it. As simple as that. Now you can sort array of objects.